I woke up one morning, looked in the mirror, and didn't recognize who I was. I remember asking God, please, if you just give me another chance, I will never go backwards ever, ever again. I used to go into a dirty clothes bag and smell the clothes to see which one didn't smell the worst that I could put on for the day. I used to have my sneakers lined up on a radiator with holes in it, cardboard in it and everything, drying off for the next run, things of that nature, you know? So Jerry Jericho cleaned me up. I've been threatened, I've been shot at, I've been like nearly murdered, I've almost OD'd a few times, There's, I've lost my family. There's so many things I have done in my life and nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, has changed my life like Jericho. Jericho really um, takes a three-pronged approach um, to our work. Number one is we really um, look at the underlying causes of somebody's homelessness, which may be substance abuse, mental illness. Um, number two is we help to build people's skills, their independent living skills, their um, specific job skills, and help them get employment so that they can be productive and, and successful in the long term. And the third thing that we do is we help people reestablish relationships with their families. I remember when I first met my case manager, um, who happened to be the director, he said, uh, uh, what is your goal for the next five years? And it like shook me, it like stunned me because no one had asked me that in so long and I didn't even know how to answer it because I didn't know what my goals were because there was no stability in my life and how could I make goals? That September of 93, I entered Borough Manhattan Community College. And once again, scared to death because I had been out of school forever, you know. Um, I went in there and with the support of Jericho, their vocational department, and with the staff that was here at the time. My first semester there, um, I had a GPA of 3.85. I mean, kid with an eighth grade, come on. Eighth grade education, it was impossible. And, you know, I excelled from that point on. There was no stopping me. I was washing cars out on the street. Today, I'm an officer for the Tribal Bridge and Tunnel Authority. I'm, in September, I'll have four years of working with them. I'm almost at top pay. Uh, also, I have 14 years, 11 months, and 16 days clean. And, and this is the best time of my life, and, and I see it in my children. My children, they still live with me. Uh, these are individuals that may have languished on streets or in shelters or in institutions, public institutions uh, many, many years ago, that are now living full lives uh, independently uh, in, in just wonderful communities with the kinds of support uh, that they need uh, to, have, to reach the full measure of their life uh, and to really be uh, uh, valuable members of society and it's just wonderful to see. Jericho Project has given us a creative and important model for future programs that we're using in Washington. Unfortunately there are hundreds of thousands of vets across the nation who live on the edges of society and on the streets and this after they've made such sacrifices for us. Studies show the problem of homeless vets is growing with more than 20,000 homeless in New York State alone. Our vets heeded our nation's call and the least we can do as a nation is ensure they have a roof over their heads in the nation they fought to protect. Jericho's been working on identifying the needs of veterans who are coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan who may end up homeless. And so we are in the process of designing and building a model residence for homeless and low-income veterans in the Bronx, looking to use that as a model where we can um, develop additional housing in the city and possibly elsewhere. I'd like to say thank you Thank you to the Jericho Project for 25 years of providing real and permanent solutions to homelessness in New York City and bringing hope to countless individuals and families. With partners like the Jericho Project, uh, we continue to help people move from uh, despair to hope every day. I have a voice, I'm somebody, I'm going someplace. Jericho, every time I hear the word, it reminds me of that old gospel and, and stuff like that, you know going down the road to Jericho. And that's what I've done. When I came here, I keep that, that same gospel thought in my mind because I be following the people that has gone before me. They've given me myself back. They've given my daughter a mom. They've given my grandchildren a grandmother. You know, I'm able to be a wife, a friend. 
they have given me back something that actually they've given me something I've never had before. And that is a brand new life. I would never have ever, ever dreamt this.